I've been doing some uh, scouting here um, to find out how I should make this uh, follower rest or what we call it, traveling rest or what we call it. But <laughs> I realized that I have to uh, I have to mount it down here, down here. So I have to drill two holes in here. And I think I'll take um, an angle iron 10 millimeters thick and then make a bracket up here and then mount the follower on top of this. I think that's the best solution. And I didn't do that. It was there when I got the, the lathe. I think I have to uh, I have to um, have this angle because the rest I think I don't know why but I think it's better to have it in here instead of out here. So uh, I'll make this. Is it called a bracket? Yeah, I think so. And I have some angle iron here, down here, I can use. <coughs> this one here. I believe it can be used. 100 millimeters, yes. 100 millimeters, yes. And 10 millimeters thick. And I have to have 120 millimeters. Yeah. You can see it on my drawing here. How I plan to to do it. Here you see my uh, drawings of the traveling rest. This is supposed to be the saddle and um, on the side here I'll make a bracket in the angle iron 10 millimeters thick and 100 millimeters this way and I think uh, 30 millimeters this way, yes, 30 millimeter. And then uh, the pair of screws in here to fasten it to the, the saddle. And this room here is uh, for the, the carriage, no, not the carriage, what is it called? And then I'll, I'll make this light one here in aluminum and um, these pair of gliders here in steel with uh, some bearings. I think I can use some bearings there. And um, I've offset this a little from the 90 degrees to uh, sort of hold, got a hold on, uh, on the axle here. So, um, and then I have some, to have some some plates or something here for the screws to to press upon and um, I think uh, it'll do it and um, the aluminum is uh, fastened to the angle iron with screws from down here countersinked in the angle iron my problem is that uh, this part of the saddle is a cast piece and there's no machining there. But I think I can place a pair of adjustment screws over and under the two fastening screws. Then I can use this, these two um, adjustment screws to, to tilt the arrangement this way or this way. 
maybe it's no problem uh, when I fasten the things with screws then maybe it's aligned as it should be but um, I think I can use these adjustment screws if it's it's bad with the uh, alignment yeah next is making this bracket 